Hi guys, welcome to Coda Tizen Lab. This is video number 95 for learning management system in Django with React JS. In this video, I have implemented the student register OTP verification that we have already implemented in 94th number, it means previous video, but for the teacher registration, right? Now we have now I have implemented for student registration. Okay, so I have implemented and I am going to show you that what kind of things we are uh, we have done right so first of all uh, we have created two fields then uh, we have uh, on the login function we have checked that if verify status is uh, not true then uh, he cannot log in right verify status means student should have uh, verify status after the uh, otp verification then we are sending the email after registration and in the email we are sending the six digit random otp number and after the otp verification it will uh, go to the login page right or the user dashboard or it will show the related error right so first of all uh, we have uh, here we have a registered JS I have added this OTP uh, one more uh, property here right and then uh, we have generating the random number and adding here right this is for the registration page okay so after registration uh, after this uh, comp after this component uh, modification will go to the serializer like we have done for the teacher we have uh, overriding here the create method right and sending the email okay so in the email student will get the OTP verification right and after the OTP verification when student go to I am going to show you uh, after log out here so here we have a uh, student register let's say uh, let's say tree hem and tree at the gmail.com username is tree and password is something and let's say interest is test okay so when we register it will it, it is going to the six digit OTP and uh, here you have a six digit OTP number you can see that so when you copy this you will paste it here right so we have created this uh, verify let me show you very like we have created verify teacher we have created verify student okay and uh, verify student will send this data to the verify student URL here we have created right and uh, in the function in the function we are verifying the OTP with a specific student ID here okay when we are when we are registering we are registering the student but not with the status okay and so that we have a primary key and we are redirecting on that okay so when we click here it will update the status right so if we check here here you can see that this is the OTP digit and this is the status so we are matching with that six and the OTP digit so when we click here it will go to the dashboard because it will go to the dashboard because it is verified now here you can see that right so this is the whole scenario and uh, if you see the teacher dashboard I have uh, explained everything well okay so that I have created this code and uh, I have uh, just uh, showing you that how it is working okay so it is working similar to the teacher verification right so in our next videos we will give a option to the student and teacher so they can uh, they can uh, they can log in with the OTP if they checked that option okay if not then they can lo log in directly if they check that option that login with OTP then they uh, when whenever they log in then uh, email will send to their email and uh, with the six digit OTP and uh, it will when they confirm then they can log in else they they can they cannot log in right so yeah this is it for this video that uh, i have implemented the student uh, verification via otp student registration via otp okay so let's meet in the next video okay so please share this channel subscribe this uh, channel and like this video okay i need your support okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any message any query then you can send me on instagram or facebook you can follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook and GitHub. Okay. And you can support me on Razor Pay, PayPal. 
just give me after supporting just give me your email id i will give you the source code of the project whatever you need and uh, source code repository access right because i am uploading all the source code on the github okay so okay let's meet in the next video thank you so much